Okay, um, so you guys won't believe what I've been doing today. Um, this is an actual Block 2 AGC Apollo guidance computer. Um, these are the logic modules. Um, I've taken one of these logic modules out. This is logic module um, A5 or 8A211. Um, so if you can believe, these are the first time um, computer chips or integrated circuits were used inside of a computer. So this is the very first microcomputer ever built. Can you believe this? This is a logic module from the very first microcomputer ever built. This computer was designed in the early 60s. It was used to go to the moon. It was only NASA who was able to to build something like this. This thing was millions of dollars at the time to build this, to design this. Um, and um, I have it in my room here today. So this module came out of there. I pulled it and tried to understand how it works. So this is what I found. The pins are numbered, starting over there. I um, don't know if I'll be able to go in like real close, but let's see. Yep you can see a 101 there right on the side there that's pin 101 right next to it it's pin 102 103 104 and it's carrying on um, until you get well that has been if you just focus there well you can't really see there but that has been 152 152 over there um, anyway I'll need to put this on manual focus so I can actually show you guys what what it, this is. This is probably a bit close, but okay, it's 150, 152. Those are the two pins with a the gap there. And then it's going all the way to pin 172 over there. This repeats on the next row of pins. You can see that there is a second row of pins. Um, and the second row of pins um, you know, if that was pin 101 on that side, on the far side, that's pin 201 on that side. So pin 201 starts over there, pin 301 is the next row, pin 401 is the next row. So I'm going to show you some, some of the circuit diagrams, bring that up. Um, now, I've just got a circuit diagram here, um, and if you can make it out, over there is pin 103, that's pin 102. So what I did was I measured the second and the third pin on this connector, measured that out, uh, took this second pin and it was linking to the third one from the top up there uh, called pin F and 103 was connecting to the second chip also in pin F. Um, so if you look at the circuit diagram again, and I'm really going to try and come in close there, you'll see pin 103 goes to chip 59, 102 goes all the way up, goes to pin chip 60. So from that I can see that that is chip 60, 59, 58, 57, and they go on like this, and then, well, they go up to 31 down here. Then they start again, chip 30, going all the way to chip 1 over there. So that's interesting to note that though the pins are numbered from 101 on the right hand side all the way to pin 172 over there. The chips are numbered starting from this side going all the way there. Interesting. It's probably got to do something to do with the fact that the other side of this module look exactly the same. Now one thing to, to remember about this is that the two halves of this module are not interconnected in any way whatsoever. So the two halves only come out to the pins. If they need to wire any of these chips to any of the other chips, this needs to be done on the baseboard. 